You are so beautiful, kind and godly. Your devotion towards source, universe and divine has started making you more and more attractive in my eyes. I'm sure you don't even care about getting attentions from other men or women, but you must be getting a lot of it. My family tells me that you are not a right match for me or they used to say this. They saw many flaws in you and for a long time I believed them. But nowadays I don't feel like agreeing to them. You know, in the past I acted out of frustration, anger and insecurities. But after suffering so much I feel helpless and stupid that I didn't listen to my soul's calling. You have grown a lot or maybe you always were above me in your progress but it was my jealousy and arrogance towards you that instead of appreciating your qualities I only looked for your flaws and threw them at you whenever I wanted to win over you I knew you were more emotional and it would hurt you a lot and I'm sure it did too but the best part is you used it in your stride you took it as a challenge and became even better there is a huge gap between you and me you were always that bright a star but i couldn't see it when the clouds came in between my view and i didn't believe so deeply in god because i was taught to take all the control but now i pray to god to help me out Another thing that hurts me a lot is that I ruin your innocence or I used your innocence for my own benefits. I didn't value your childlike nature. I expected you to please me all the time. I called you out on that when you did not act according to my wishes. And the darkness that I am living right now is a result of that. People say we should never play with pure-hearted person, but I never let a single opportunity to go. I accept that whenever I found you in your weak moment, I attacked you. Now, when I go through these negative emotions, I realize what must I have put you through with my negative banter and egoistical behavior. Now I feel so bad for myself that you moved on completely. It's like a punishment and instant karma served to me on a hot platter because I was the overconfident one who needed constant pleasing and pampering from you. You were always ahead of me, but I judged you and I thought that you don't know any better, but now I miss your guidance and support in my life. I want us to be together. Will you subscribe for more upcoming channeling? Thank you, dear soul family.